Hey, I'm Matthew Wingard with A Fine Press, and uh, a friend of mine today posted a short little video on Facebook of a band, a house concert, and the band was called Mandolin Orange. And uh, if I'm frank, the band is probably what you might describe as a Mumford band. If you haven't seen the Start a Mumford Band video, click the link. you got to check it out. It's hilarious. Uh, but very Americana, very evocative band, and I've been listening to them all day, and it got me thinking a lot about uh, the power of music, and it's something I think about fairly frequently, and, uh, and believe it, it's more important to people than they, they realize. And uh, so one of the things I was thinking about is we should probably use music more often to discuss emotions and environments and brands and, and the things uh, that we're trying to communicate with the stuff we do, whether that's your wedding or your brand because you're starting a new business or what, whatever those things are. If you're hiring someone to help you create an experience for someone else, the person you've hired might benefit from hearing you talk in terms of music. Uh, if you talk about uh, Counting Crows, August and Everything After, I blogged about it earlier this week. Uh, it's an incredibly evocative album, just turned 20 years old a couple weeks, a couple months ago. And um, that takes you to a very specific time and place if you're familiar with that album. Uh, the same of Nirvana's In Utero, which happens to be the same age as August and Everything After. But it works with jazz, it works with Americana, it works with classical music, it works with hip-hop. Uh, there are visuals associated with it, there are emotions associated with this music that you can use as a tool in your toolbox to talk to a creative about what you're trying to evoke. And so if you're trying to make your wedding feel like it came from a certain era or has a certain aura to it, you may talk in terms of the music that goes along with it, which is pretty natural because there's already likely to be music in it. Uh, the same if with a brand. If you're trying to make potential customers feel a certain way, well, what music makes you feel that way? Uh, what music makes your ideal customer feel that way? And what besides the music itself, what about the whole experience, the way the concerts were, the way the album packaging was, the way the t-shirts were designed, what about that whole experience brought those emotions out and how can you play on that in what you're having done? Uh, so that's my word for today. Music matters. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing more of these. Give me your feedback. Tell me what you think, please. And in the meantime, uh, check out my work and my blog at afinepress.com. Once again, I'm Matthew Wingard with A Fine Press. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks.